Hi everybody, it's Shauna here with Katabi. Um, today I'm going to be doing a different mesh method. Um, so I'm doing a series of videos to show you guys just different ways to go about adding your mesh to your wreath. Um, so this is the third in a series of videos. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, so this method, we are going to be using a 21 inch um, poly deco mesh. This one is a, it's kind of like a deep um, coral color um, and white. So it's got a, a pretty thick stripe on it. Um, the poof method I really do prefer with 21 inch. You can do it with 10 inch, um, but I think it just turns out better with 21 inch. And I am starting with a 15 inch pencil frame. Um, and it, this one, I mean, it can make up to a 24 inch wreath, sometimes bigger. If you like me, you make them pretty big. Um, so that's what we're starting with the, the uh, pencil frame and 21 inch mesh. Um, I am not cutting the mesh at all. I'm just leaving it on the roll and we're gonna create our poofs as we go around. Um, so some of, well, as I'm starting, I'll kind of pull out my um, ties here. Um, so some of the kits that I do um, have 10 inch mesh and some have 21 inch mesh. Some will come with multiple rolls, some will have a single roll. Um, and really that is because when I am creating, when I'm coming up with a design for something and I'm thinking, okay, what is going to look best with this? Is a poof going to look better so that the ribbon tails and things stand out more? Is the mesh going to be a focal point? Um, are you going to use less ribbon maybe? Um, with really pretty um, mesh or curls or things like that. And so I, I'm looking at that. I'm thinking about that when I create the kits. Um, I've even done some where there is a roll of 21 inch mesh and a roll of 10 inch mesh so that you could go back and add curls or things like that as well or a ruffle maybe if you wanted to. Um, so the kits vary. Um, all of our wreath kits come with um, everything that you need basically to make the wreath. You get the wreath form, you get mesh, the ribbon, sign, you know, everything coordinating. Um, and this is not part of a kit. This is just me showing you how to do the, the poof method. Um, so to start with, like I said, I'm not cutting any of my mesh. Um, I want to show you this as best I can up close. When I first start, now some people may um, just gather up the end like this and they will tie that in to one of their ties. But then you have this nasty looking frayed edges somewhere in your in your wreath and we don't want to see that. Okay, We want to cover that up. So what I have um, learn to do is if I have this right with my cut edge I kind of curl it under a little bit then I would say that's maybe an inch and a half to two inches right just kind of fold it over and then I start gathering and I gather all the way across now I have a nice little poof at the end without all those straggly ugly pieces sticking out it's all going to be hidden underneath okay so this once I've gathered this this is what I'm going to tie in to my first tie Move this over here so on this one I'm actually going to start on actually I'm going to start on the bottom I'm going to tie that in give it one good twist. Now for our poofs, usually I measure out about 10 inches, okay? So if I know, if I measure where I'm at, and I can kind of bring my hands out, I kind of gather this in my hands, and I come out about 10 inches, and I gather it again where it's going to be, and put that into my next tie. So if you're not measuring here, I learned this from um, Candy from Candy's Creations. Uh, this was a tip that she did that I really liked. 
was if you're not measuring, so I have it here on my cutting mat so I can see where 10 inches is. If you don't want to do that, you can kind of gather your mesh and get this raw edge under. Go out to your next tie. So that's where you're gonna grab it at and then back it up to tie here, okay? It's about 10 inches. You just want to make sure that your poof is consistent all the way around, okay? You don't want kind of lopsided looking poofs. I also do fluff them as I go. So I just kind of stick my hand in there and fluff as I go. So I'll keep doing this all the way around. This mesh is really pretty. With the coral. I'm going to fall out. So basically what I'm doing I'm going to turn it on the side so you can see. Is here's my next tie. I'm going to skip that. I'm going to go to my next one, so two. That's where I'm going to grab my mesh at, and then I'm going to back it up to this one. I hope you could see that. When I saw Candy do that, I was like, that's genius. Because sometimes I'm not on my cutting mat. Um, I've seen some people who use something um, like a the inside roll from a paper towel. Um, they've used that kind of as their guide to know how big their poofs are um, as they work their way around. So I'm just grabbing it and going to my next one and backing it up right here. And then again, kind of fluffing my poof out. I gather, skip one, and go back. Now, I can see, I don't know if you guys can see, this poof looks really crazy big compared to the other. You don't want that. You want you want to make sure. So maybe that one's not spaced, or maybe my hand's a little tired. And so adjust. Don't keep going. Take it out. If you attach it or you put it in, and you're looking at it, just undo it and and re um, redo it. Because you don't want to get to the end. You've made it all the way around. You've done the top, um, and then you see this really wonky. Um, poof there. Let's try this again. Back it up. <clears throat> Done so much talking today, my voice is a little crazy. And poof as we go. I do also, as I'm poofing, I try to, um, the raw edge of the mesh, I try to kind of tuck that up under as I'm doing it. So poofs to me, um, I use poofs usually when um, I have a lot going on with uh, my bow or my sign and ribbon uh, because to me a poof is a little bit more um, understated I guess um, and it really lets the bow or the ribbon stand out in my opinion anyway um, that's why a lot of times I'll oops oh all right um, I use poofs for um, my more loud, I should say. If, if my colors and things like that or my design is a little bit louder, um, I will use a poof um, to kind of tone it down a little bit um, as opposed to like my curls and things like that. Okay, we're on the last one on the bottom. I'm going to carefully untie where I started and I'm going to hold my finger there so I don't lose it and just add in this poof and retie it. Okay. 
Now I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to grab another loop, move this out of the way, and I'm going to jump up to my top row, okay? And move that poop aside. And again, we're just going to continue the process all the way around. Hope everybody is doing well and hopefully if you're out of the quarantine that you're out enjoying some sunshine or you've had a chance to anyway uh, maybe not, not by the time you've seen the video but um, I know I can't wait I live in Southern California and I can't wait till we're able I mean we can go to the beach now uh, but you cannot you can't sit down you can't stop basically you have to um, just keep going so if you're going to take a walk on the beach you just gotta you know take your walk and then leave there's no parking at the beach um, that type of thing um, so I have three kids so taking all three kids to the beach this mama is gonna have to take a rest let me tell you um, so my idea of a good day off is sitting my butt in the sand drinking my hand um, <laughs> and that's not happening right now so Okay. But I'm looking forward to it when we can get back to our beaches and Okay. We're about halfway through this top row. Let me get this out. That one's gonna be a little big. Now with some of these, sometimes with a poof, like I said, I'll go back and maybe add a curl, which this one, my intention is to do that um, with this coral color. Um, and I will show, I will show that in a separate um, video, but this one is just the poof. Almost there. Actually, I may just do the curl now if I have my mesh available. I would say this one, doing a, a poof method, does go pretty quick once you've made your way all the way around. Um, it's a pretty quick process. Last one? No, not yet. Okay, we're almost there. So again, just like in the very beginning where I didn't want that raw edge showing, I'm going to do the same thing here at the end. So first let me get how much I need. So this is where I would be attaching it. I'm going to come out probably about two inches and cut that off. And now I'm going to tuck this under just like I did the very beginning. So let me just kind of fold this over a little bit. I'm going to fold it and start scrunching as I go so that nobody sees that raw edge. Okay, all the way across. So again, we just have a nice little poof there and I'm going to tie that in to my last tie or actually where I came up from. Tie that in. Okay, so that is our, I'll show you the poop in a second, but you can see here how much we have left. That maybe took half a roll to go all the way around. 
Um, so that's that part. So you can see here is our poof all the way around. Now um, I am going to show you an alternative. So you could leave it at this. You could start adding in your sign, your ribbon, um, and all of that. Um, or you could come back and at each of these places you could add in a curl. So I am going to um, show you that as well. Can you hand me the, there's a coral. So I have a coral color um, mesh here. This one is a 10 inch. So I am going to move that out of the way. I'm going to cut 18 pieces of this and I'm going to cut them at 10 inches because 10 inches is all I really need for a curl. So I need 18. I love this coral, coral, coral color. It's very summery and beachy to me. Can you tell I have, you know, beach on the brain? We were supposed to have gone on vacation in March to New Mexico, um, and obviously that got canceled. Then we rescheduled it, that got canceled. So I'm aching to be on a beach somewhere. Six. The part, um, part of what I like about making mace is all the different ways that you can go about it. And it's not cookie cutter. It's not, not everything has to be exactly the same. Um, and everybody, I see some people, you know, some of the groups I'm on on Facebook, there are some crazy, imaginative, crazy, beautiful works of art out there. I'm like amazed at some of these. The other day, um, Libby from Tada Reese, her work, she did a mannequin head wreath, it was so beautiful. It was, I, I just, I'm in awe. I am not that talented, not at all. Um, same thing with Amy from Baban Reese. Um, she's got some gorgeous, gorgeous work. So some of these groups I'm in and I'll see you guys. I'm like, wow, it's just amazing. 10, 12. Um, but it's not, they don't have to follow any rules. You don't have to do it because somebody said, okay, this is how many, you know, what, what you have to do. Um, you can follow somebody else's work, but, um, you don't have to do it the same way. 14. So that's kind of like why I really like the kits, um, is because I'm giving you the supplies that you need to make it, but how you go about it is really up to you. You know, if you like this method better than another one, um, then by all means use that. Maybe I need two more. Um, also, you guys will hear me say this before, is I do not, you know, when you get your kit, you get um, the wreath frame, the mesh, ribbon, all coordinating ribbon, and whatever sign, or sometimes it's, um, you know, we just did patriotic, so there was like Uncle Sam attachments to it and the fireworks and all of that type of stuff. Um, so there will be whatever it is coordinating with that. Um, but I do not <laughs> um, pre-cut for you. I don't do that. Um, and there's a couple of reasons for that. You guys probably heard me explain this before. Um, one is how you go about it, how you put it together. Um, maybe you like a bigger, fuller, fluffier bow. Um, maybe you like longer ribbon tails. And if I pre-cut all of that for you, you don't really have a choice. So giving you, I just give you the supplies, however you go about that is really up to you. Um, but in addition to that is the supplies that are left over. So just like I said with, you know, the roll of mesh. So you figure in a kit, you get one roll of the mesh, you could do two, I would say at least two full bases with the ruffle, or I mean with the um, poof method. Um, and that's more than one wreath, obviously. Same thing with the ribbon. 
I mean, we're not going to use all of that ribbon on one wreath. Um, so you could reuse that for multiple projects. That's another reason that I really like the kits. Okay, so I have all these pieces cut up into 10 inch um, pieces and all I'm going to do is do a soft curl, not super tight, enough that my hand fits around, okay? And I, with the cut side, the frayed side down, I'm going to attach that to each of where I just tied in my um, poofs. I'm going to add this. into each of those, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing all the way around. And I will show you one in just a second. So here we can see where the poof is, and then we have a curl coming out as well. So you could do, and you can, I mean, you could even do um, two or three different colors of that. So in one of my recent projects, I did um, a poof that was, um, I did white poofs, but I did my curls as red and blue um, for patriotic. So you're, you know, you can mix that up however you want to do it. Boy. So we're just going to keep adding it all the way around. I feel like you guys can't see this well enough. And again, I always make sure that my cut side is down to help prevent fraying. If you guys have any questions um, or Maybe you're looking for something in particular. Um, please feel free to always, you can message me um, through my Facebook um, business page through Katabi. That's K-I-T-O-B-B-Y. Um, or you can even message me through Etsy. Um, either way. So if you're looking for something in particular, um, for example, somebody had asked, excuse me, somebody had asked me the other day, about a um they wanted to do a wreath for um God, i can't think of the name now um i totally drawn a blank i'm sorry um anyway if you have um a special request or you're looking for something in particular i know a lot of people were looking for um health care and nurse appreci appreciation um, please let me know and I will do my best to try and find that for you. Oh, I know what it was. Sorry. I couldn't think of it. Uh, was the Harley Davidson. So she was looking for specifically for a Harley Davidson kit. Uh, the problem with Harley Davidson is that it is licensed um, and you can find similar um, either wreath signs or ribbon or things like that but it is not Harley Davidson because it's licensed. Um, same thing with um, Disney products, you know, they'll be licensed. Um, so I, what I did is I just give her some options. This is what we can do legally <laughs> uh, without getting, you know, Harley Davidson licenses. Um, give her some options and then she loved it. So we went ahead and ordered it. Um, for her so I have no problem doing that if you guys have special requests you're looking for something just please let me know um, and I'll be more than happy and if I can't I, I will let you know or if you have a question I don't know the answer because I don't know I don't know everything um, I will find somebody or try to find the answer for you um, I for me in particular and I will refer him every day of the week um, I belong to Damon Oates Deco Exchange um, Creative and Business Coaching Group, and if you are looking for any type of, you know, creative coaching and you really want to take it to the next step, I would highly, highly, highly recommend Damon. Um, he's been such an awesome coach. Um, this month they're doing live classes every day. They're doing a different live class with different coaches. So um, one of my favorites is Coach Candy from Candy's Creations. 
Um, oh wait, she's not in the group. I take that back. Um, I do love Candy from Candy's Creations, but she's not in the coaching group. Um, who else is in there? Oh, Coach Fancy. Coach Fancy is awesome as well. And Damon, obviously I love Damon. Um, so there's a lot of different uh, material and things like that. Tutorials and videos if you're ever looking for, um, you know, inspiration or how to's. He's, he's really great at that. I've learned, a, I've learned so much from him, especially when it comes to my business. Um, I've learned I owe it to him. All right, we got one, two, I think I dropped two on the floor. Let me, I'll just cut a couple extra here. All right, uh, yeah, I need two more. It rolled away. So let's do two more. Don't be afraid to, um, if they're not exactly 10 inches, they're not perfect, they're not perfectly straight. Nobody's going to know. Nobody's going to see it. Oh, all right. Almost there. All right, I got this last one to put in, and then we're all set. I feel like I'm getting pretty fast at this here. Okay, last curl going in. All right, so now you guys can see how much fuller and fluffier this got all the way around. Okay, and we haven't added ribbon or anything to it yet. Um, so what would happen is so I any of these um, twist ties so it does coordinate with what I'm doing however in the end once I've attached all of my ribbon and everything I would either just cut those off with a wire cutter um, or I would fold them down and tuck them up under you want to make sure that you're not gonna scratch anybody if they're poking too far down um, but I do kind of tuck them on the underneath side um, so this is the we did a poof initially and I went back and added a curl all the way around, okay? Um, so this one, um, can you give me that one right there? So you can see this we did earlier today. This was a cruffle. This is um, basically a curl and a ruffle method. So with those two side by side, I don't know if you can see it, you can see that the one, the coral with the poof and the ruffle is thicker. Um, it's going to be a deeper um, base um, just for reference. So let's see. We ended up with, um, it's about 26 inches across and it's about eight, eight and a half inches deep. Um, so with this method, it ends up a little bit fuller as well. All right, guys, that's it for this method. I hope that um, everybody is doing well, that um, you continue to be creative and have fun. And like I said, if you have any questions, you're looking for something in particular, please don't hesitate to reach out to me on either Facebook through my Katabi business page or through my Etsy shop. Um, please head on over to the Etsy shop and check out um, the new kits that we have coming out and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Have a wonderful day.